Hello everyone. Welcome to your English class. Students, today we are going to do lesson number 4, The Raven and the Swan from our English book New Forward English. So, all of you just open your book at page number 32. The main characters of the story are Raven and Swan. Before proceeding I will tell you the summary of the story Once upon a time there was a big black bird raven who lived on a tree Under the tree there was a lake a beautiful white swan lived in that lake Raven was not happy as it did not like its blue color It always admired the beauty of swan and wanted to look as beautiful as swan. One day, raven rubbed its body with the bar of soap, but it was of no use. Then the swan came to the raven and made him realize about its beautiful big eyes. Raven felt very happy as it had never noticed its beauty before later raven started living happily for ever okay kids now let's discuss difficult words with their meanings first word is raven r a v e n raven raven means a black bird unhappy u n h a p p y unhappy unhappy means sad next word is beautiful b e a u t i f u l beautiful means pretty next word is often o f T E N often often means many times next word is decided D E C I D E D decided decided means to make decision next word is huge H U G E huge huge means big Now next word is rubbing R U B B I N G rubbing rubbing means applying Next word is morning M O R N I N G morning morning means time of sunrise Now next word is evening E V E N I ng evening evening means time of sunset next word is dear d e a r dear dear means loving now next word is noticed n o t i c e d noticed noticed means to see next word is happy H A P P Y happy happy means glad now let's revise once again raven a black bird unhappy sad beautiful pretty often many times decided to make decision huge big rubbing applying morning time of sunrise evening time of sunset dear loving noticed to see happy glad okay kids now let's start with reading part side by side you all will write the meanings of difficult words 
Once upon a time, there lived a raven, which was very unhappy all the time. Underline the word raven. Raven means a black bird. B L A C K black, B I R D bird. Raven, a black bird. Underline the word unhappy. Unhappy means sad. S A D sad. Unhappy sad. He did not like. His black color. Below the tree where he lived was a lake. In the lake lived a beautiful white swan. Underline the word beautiful. Beautiful means pretty. P R E T T Y pretty. Beautiful pretty. Okay, kids. In these lines, we have read that a big black bird, raven, lived on a tree. The raven never liked its black color. That's why it always remained unhappy. Below the tree, there was a lake. A beautiful swan lived in that lake. Now let's continue with our reading. Ah, how pretty she looks! The raven often told himself. Underline the word often. Often means many times. M A N Y. Many. T I M E S times. Often many times. I wish I was so beautiful and white in color. One day the raven. Decided to bathe itself. Now underline the word decided. Decided means to make decision. M A K E make. D E C I S I O N decision. Decided to make decision. It got a huge bar of soap from somewhere. And started rubbing the soap on his body. Underline the word huge. Huge means big. B I G big. Huge big. Now underline the word rubbing. Rubbing means applying. A P P L Y I N G applying. Rubbing, applying. Okay kids. Now in these lines we have read that the raven always admired the beauty of the swan and wanted to look like it. To fulfill its desire of being white, raven one day took a bar of soap and started rubbing its body. Now let's see what happened next. I will become as white as the beautiful swan, the raven told himself while bathing. He bathed and bathed. The morning turned into afternoon, and the afternoon turned into evening. But there was no change of color in the raven's body. Underline the word morning. Morning means. Time of sunrise. T I M E time of sunrise. S U N R I S E sunrise. Now underline the word evening. Evening means time of sunset. Time of S U N. S E T sunset. Okay, kids. In these lines, we have read that the raven wanted to look as beautiful as swan, so it rubbed the soap whole day, but there was no change in its color. 
let's continue with the reading watching the sad raven the swan told him dear raven your eyes are so big and beautiful all of you just underline the word dear dear means loving l o v i n g loving dear loving i wish i had such pretty eyes the raven looked at the swan he had never noticed that about himself underline the word noticed noticed means to see s double e c noticed to see he felt very happy underline the word happy happy means glad g l a d glad he was never unhappy again okay now in these lines we have read that while the raven was rubbing the soap on its body the swan was watching him doing so the swan came closer to the raven and told raven about its desire to have such pretty eyes just like it on hearing this raven realized its beauty that he had never noticed before later the raven felt glad and started living happily okay kids with this our reading is also done i hope that you like the story now let's come to question answers part question number 1 name the main characters of the story answer is the main characters of the story are the raven and the swan our next question is what was the color of the raven answer is the color of the raven was black Our next question is what was the color of the swan answer is the color of the swan was white next question is where did the raven live answer is the raven lived on the tree next question is why was the raven unhappy answer is the raven was unhappy because of its black color next question is what was the wish of the raven answer is the raven wished to look beautiful just like the swan and next question is what did the raven used to take a bath answer is the raven used a huge soap bath to take a bath our next question is how did the raven become happy now answer is the raven became happy after noticing its big and beautiful eyes okay children now let's have a quick recap of the lesson with the following exercises here is an exercise who said to whom few dialogues will be there and you have to guess at who said these words to whom also you have to mention the name of the chapter first is ah how pretty she looks just recall who said these words to whom answer is the raven said to himself a name of the lesson is the raven and the swan next is i wish i was so beautiful and white in color who said these words to whom let's check the answer the raven said to himself name of the lesson the raven and the swan next is dear raven 
Your eyes are so big and beautiful. Who said these words to whom? Answer is, the swan said to raven. And name of the lesson is, the raven and the swan. Now here we have next exercise. Few lines are given and you have to complete these incomplete lines. First one is, he did not like his dash. Answer is, black color. He did not like his black color. Next is, I will become as white as dash. Answer is, the beautiful swan. I will become as white as the beautiful swan. Next one is, he felt dash. Answer is, very happy. He felt very happy. Now let's check the next one. He was never dash. Let's see the answer. Unhappy again. He was never unhappy again. Okay kids, with this we are done with our chapter. All of you just go through your lesson and revise difficult word meanings. Also complete your related exercises given to you in your SNAP homework. Thank you.